Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hi everyone. Today I'm out here in Wrightstown, New Jersey. That's right, Wrightstown, New Jersey. It's not 2018, it's 2022. We have the B friend. We have Kayla here with me. And we're checking out this abandoned checkers right up the street from the infamous Ames that I explored in 2018. And if you haven't seen the revisit, go check that video out. But anyway, let's go check out checkers. Here we go, checkers, Wrightstown, New Jersey. Looks awfully a lot like a KFC, if you ask me. Maybe it was in a previous life, but it was Checkers, and it closed May 4th, 2018. Apparently, from some of the reviews I could read, workers weren't to be found. Somebody described this place as a scene out of The Walking Dead. <laughs> Sure is quiet though here now. Thanks. Come on in. Minute made peach mango. Boy, that sounds good. Up. Oh, they have a leaky ceiling. Got water on the floor here. Looked like they tried to clean it up and then gave up. There was a Google image of this place. I'm not sure when it was taken. I think it was from the street view from the from the car. That showed a big dumpster out here, full of stuff. However, in here, they still have a bunch of their chairs. They have them all stacked up along the tables neatly, for the most part. And this place is just empty now. See? All their chairs, their garbage cans, a water bottle. But yeah, this place looks a lot like a KFC. We thought it was at first. And the funny thing is, I was telling Kayla, you know, Andy and I were here back in October of 2018 to check out the Ames right up the street. And I never even noticed that this was closed. I didn't even think of it because I would have filmed it. I don't know why I didn't, or maybe we didn't go past it. I don't know. But here I am today in 2022 doing just that. And checking out the Ames again. <laughs> Looks like work was being done and then they either just gave up or... I don't know, maybe the virus hit and they couldn't. Took all their signage out. I do like the neon on this place. It has a lot of red neon on it. Going all the way across with that mirror finish, that chrome. It's pretty cool. We'll go this way. Yeah, we'll go this way. So I started talking to a gentleman. He was across the street. He asked me if I planned on opening something here. I said, I wish. <laughs> I'd be able to get food then. Everybody could. <laughs> I said, no, I'm just taking pictures and video. You see through the doorway there. Let's go look through the uh, drive through window here. Nothing. You got a timeout chair. And a table that you could probably try to suplex somebody through, but it would hurt really bad because it's made out of metal. <laughs> I'm just teasing. We're offering shrimp for a limited time, so our guests with shrimp allergies, please use caution when ordering fried foods. Oh, I think I found the signage. It's in there. It's face down, though. Darn, that's a shame. Yep. It's face down. The dumpster's completely full of disgusting water and rusty beer cans. Oh, there you go. Look at that. With ceiling tile, too. How the heck is that not stained? If it gets rained on every day. Maybe because the water hits it directly instead of water going through the roof and bringing dirt down with it. That's pretty cool, though, to see these in here. Imagine trying to take that home. It's like a souvenir. That thing is about the size of the bee. <laughs> That's the size of a small car. 
Maybe it's not the full size of the Kabi, but it's big. That one too, that's a huge surfboard. <laughs> we are close to the Atlantic Ocean out here. Not much to see back here though in their drive through It's cool seeing that though, but they removed all their signage, their order screen. I would place my order here, but I can't. Just being silly. Kayla's hanging out in the B. Boy, is that car great now. Runs great. That clutch is awesome. There's a rock in front of that door, so it makes me think that that's a way in, but I'm not going to force the issue. I really don't feel like, oh yeah, look, it's wide open. It's wide open. You could go right in. But the thing is, you see that it's because somebody forced their way and they broke it. I'm not doing all of that. You saw it anyway. You could see in there pretty well. But that was cool. So yeah, there was their sign up there for checkers. I don't know where the round one would have been. I guess on the front of the building, perhaps. But anyway, I guess that'll be a wrap. I thank you all for watching the video. I'm not quite sure what happened to my outro. I know we did one in the car, and it was rather funny because Kayla and I were doing what we typically do, which is uh, tease and mess with each other and just have some good old laughs and fun, just like we did at Acme. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry that that got deleted. I think what happened was it might have got mixed in with my Ames footage, and I might have deleted that once I had finished the Ames video. Because when we did the Ames, after I did my walk around and was getting ready to explore inside, there was a car in a parking lot that sat there for an hour. And after about 15 minutes or so, I had lost my patience waiting on the person. So I figured, let's go back and go do that checkers in the meantime. And then when we come back, maybe they'll be gone. But they weren't. But that was okay because that, that's when we did the drone footage. And then he left. And then we went inside. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video of Checkers out there in Wrightstown, New Jersey. I really love that town. It's, it's a nice, quiet-looking town. I know you're right by that military base, but I just thought it was a comfy, cozy area, and Kayla did too. So anyway, and the gentleman that I spoke with while I was filming, he was walking across the street, and he, he looks over and says they're not open. And I looked over my shoulder. I was like, oh, yeah, I know. I'm just doing a video. And that's when I cut the camera off. He was really cool. He was really friendly. He's like, are you planning on buying it or putting something in there and opening it? I'm like, I wish. I'd put a restaurant in there. He's like, yeah, that would be awesome. And he just walked along his very way. I said, I did YouTube videos. He's like, oh, that's cool. And he went along his way and we finished the video. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy that. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber please feel free to subscribe to the channel for more content. And with that said, everybody, take care, stay awesome, and on Kayla's behalf, have a checkers-licious day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye, everyone.